Tomike reveals the origin of her nickname, Uluriebi. You know how hard you work to get to this stage. No, I love you. I love you too. Tomike Adeoye, actor, entrepreneur, radio and TV personality, influencer, and vlogger, shares the backstory of her widely known nickname, Uluriebi, with Hit TV. Tomike disclosed that her fan base affectionately referred to her as Uluriebi because she considers them family, a departure from conventional celebrity fan relationships. The origin of the name Uluriebi, funny thing was, it was a name that was given to me. It wasn't even as if I created that name for myself. If I had the chance, I would never have ever gone with a name like that because I just felt like it made me look old or very like one I would <laughs> So like because I started calling my audience on social media family members, like I, I always found it weird to say fans. I'm like, who are you calling fans in this cocoa? <laughs> so somehow family members felt more intimate, it felt more genuine. And so somehow I don't even know who's I really wish I could trace it, but I I know that because um, I say family members, Oloriebi means it translates to the head of the family. So once I say family members, they respond with Oloriebi. And somehow that name just stuck. I mean, I even always feel somehow when older people, like people that are way older than me, are like, ah, Oloriebi. I'm like, ah, you're my Oloriebi. I'm, like, I'm just a young girl, but that's how that name happened. Yeah. Regarding her distinctive approach to social media influencing, the vlogger credited her fans with playing a pivotal role in shaping her influencing style. In her words, I influenced in that manner majorly because I did not even set out to influence in the first place. Like, influencing wasn't a thing when I started back then. It was more of me just sharing my journey. I love capturing moments. I love telling stories. So I would attend events. I would want you to feel like you're at that event with me. So... Um, that was how it started. And then somehow I just felt like, oh, this audience that was growing, they felt, because I call them family members. I mean, even from the name, you can tell, like, it just feels like one big happy family, which I love and I take personal because they don't play with me. So <laughs> somehow that's how my style of influencing began. So it was something, it's easy for me to do it like that because it's very authentic. It's not like I am trying to do it or I'm making an effort. It just feels like, oh, people show me so much love. Like, you love me, I should automatically love you because it's an honor for you to carry me in such manner. It's an honor for you to patronize brands that I talk about. So I just automatically feel that way about you. And that's how this style of influencing came about, literally. The TV personnel shared more details on her forthcoming event, Party with Oluria B. Imagine that everybody at the party is the owner of the party. So I was like, oh, that would be really cool. And so um, I got to work, I decided to think of a theme and then what came to mind was oh and theme for the very first edition and i'm like ah, it would be nice to have a shebi there's a b already there's a family there's yolori a b so we can just have a shebi <laughs> and then i said okay let's um so i i put it together and i said okay i'll get the haul i already have brands that i work with thankfully that i influence great brands of course Martina, nestle youtube google and all of them so i'm like let me just reach out to every single brand that i work for and see how we can pull together a party and that was what gave birth to party with Dolorebi. and i tried to run several times i said okay should i have it in november or december and then october i had bought the ashwebi since i think in july and i was just like ah to have parties is stressful. I just don't like you coming out for my sake. I would rather come and support you for your thing, but everybody gathered just because of me. I'm like, ah, no, I don't want that kind of pressure. I'm also a perfectionist. So I was like, maybe I should even sell off the Ashwabi. I'm not doing it again. I'm not going to announce anything. Nobody will know that anything went wrong or anything that was supposed to happen did not happen. So, but then my friends, my family, they're like, ah, no, you body Ashwabi, you must do this. So I was like, okay, let's do an announcement video. And obviously, when I'm influencing for brands, I don't do small things. So when I'm now doing my own, what do you expect? <laughs> we have to go all out. And so I reached out to family members on Instagram. I was like, whoever is available for a shoot. Because I did not just want to use models. I wanted like us because now we get them. So really, that's the whole idea. And they came through in their numbers, supported me. We had the shoot. I decided to make the announcement and put out Ashwabi. When, when I was buying the Ashwabi, I knew that people would buy. But I did not know that it would be crazy like that because... <laughs> The day I posted it, in three minutes, three years were sold out. I'm like, ah, wait. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I knew people would want to come, but I did not know that it would speed like this. And it just really encouraged me and made me feel happy that, oh, I'm really glad that I did not cancel this at the end of the day. So, like, everybody is really anticipating, and the pressure on my head is increasing. But, <laughs> but I know that God is on the throne. But I just want us to have a party. In short, this party started with, I think we said, I said I wanted like 100 to. 150 guests, so I just want it to be intimate and everything. That's how friends I say, ah, 
How will you do 100 to 150k? Better I bought it like 300 though. Okay, I said I'll do like 300. Next thing, just, just tell your planner 500. I'm like, how do we go from 150 to 200 to 300 to 500? Not 500 to 600. Oh my goodness, bro. And to see people still saying, how can the Ashabi have finished? I'm <laughs> like, like, so what if we did not even increase the numbers? So I'm just like, okay, I'm glad we are having it. And it's looking big already. It's very scary, but <laughs> I know that God is on the throne. But that's part of it, Oluria B. All family members, for Oluria B, one, two, three, listen.